Hey guys, how's it going out there in YouTube world? Uh, today I was just about to start getting ready to film for a new Ryan Nintendo Freak episode that we got coming up soon. And I, I just really wanted to talk about some games that I remember from my youth. Um, I did this a few months ago. I did my first video about this. How I did, how my memories, my memories of Super Mario Bros. How I very first got into Super Mario Bros. And that was very fun. I really, en I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making that video. And then just like, plus just like telling you guys what, like how, how I got started into like getting into, you know, it was very fun that I got to tell you guys the crazy stuff, like how I got into that stuff and how it led me to doing like YouTube videos and stuff like that to the person who I am today. And I really wanted to make another one. And since that, now this year is appropriate time because since in November, the most dreaded day of our lives is coming up to upon us in November. And that is Sonic the Hedgehog in the movie. But I can't have sound doubts about that because it might be good. It may be good or maybe decent. I think decent. I don't know. But, but since that, that movie's coming out this year, I thought that it'd be appropriate time to actually talk about my Sonic the Hedgehog memories. So how did it get all started? How did the love of Sonic, how did the passion of Sonic the Hedgehog come into my life? So actually, it was the early 2000s, I remember. I, I remember. Yes, we were going way back into my childhood. Like, 2000, you thought 2006 was long, a long time ago when I got into Super Mario Bros. <laughs> I think I got into Sonic the Hedgehog in 2001 or 2004, whenever Sonic Heroes came out. So, do you guys remember that McDonald's had that arcade arcade thing yes do you guys remember that it, they weren't real arcade machines it was actually it, they did look like arcade machines but uh, what came out was actually a gamecube controller i re if you guys don't remember that then it might have been my mcdonald's i don't know but the two mcdonald's that used to be right by my house they they had they had those so I, that's what made me think that maybe like all other mcdonald's had that but I remember that McDon they, McDonald's used to have like 10, at least 10 or maybe more. It was like in a line down, down this wall. It was in the play, in, in the playhouse. So it was like they had that uh, play place like where you can go down on a slide and the ball pit and stuff like that. But me, what attracted me was the wall because around this time I had the PlayStation 2 for a little bit. So, so I wanted to check that out because they actually had a, like... To me, it was like, oh, they have play PlayStation 2 at McDonald's. So then I went down there. I went down to the wall, and I I looked at the controllers, and it was a kind of different controller. It was a GameCube controller, but now I know that it was a GameCube controller. But knowing, but um, in my mind back then, I was like, this is a weird looking PlayStation 2 controller. But I never knew that there was any other game consoles that came out around the time when that when the PlayStation 2 came out. So, so then I sat down because they had chairs. I sat down, a chair or a stool? I think it was a chair. I don't know. But I sat down at this, at this one. I don't know what made me go onto this, onto this one machine. But I think like, yes, like there were still kids, there were kids playing on, on the other ones. So then I went to this one, I went to this one machine. I sat there, hit start, and all of a sudden it was Sonic Heroes. So I... Right away, I clicked with this game, like with a snap. I clicked with this machine, with this game. I connected with this game, and it was my all-time favorite game at McDonald's. I remembered every time I went to McDonald's. Right after that, I remembered that I would go to that machine and just play the hell out of Sonic Heroes. Every time after that, every time after that first day, I went to that machine, to that exact machine. And played Sonic Heroes almost every single time, and I very I really love that Sonic game out of any other games I played. 
like even like special especially at McDonald's and the only reason why that is is I, I came up with three reasons before this video I came up with three reasons why I loved why I love that game so much and the first one is is the colors there was kind of like new Super Mario Bros I got attracted to the colors there were so many bright colors in the game certain levels I may add that I played had so many beautiful color like colorful bright colors in this in Sonic Heroes and that was what that's what really attracted me to Sonic Heroes the second one that actually got me attracted to Sonic Heroes is the soundtrack of course I had to put the soundtrack on there as one of the things that actually got me attracted to this because it wasn't it wasn't around the time when I was playing it at McDonald's because because when I played it at McDonald's they were all muted they were all like silent like they they were the sound wasn't on but when I got it for the PlayStation 2 later on that's gonna be a story that's gonna be coming up really soon but what but then when I played it on the PlayStation 2 it, at home it just had the most amazing uh, the most amazing soundtrack and that's what made me in love with it more with the Sonic game because they need some like hip-hop or rock whatever music because Sonic's fast and boom 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 so it's just like we need fast-paced music instead of slow-paced music so that that was two the third and final reason what made me attract attracted to the Sonic game and I know that this is probably everybody else's reason is the speed the Sonic game was so fast like I remember when I was when I was run Sonic was running, I was like, whoa! It was like the most intense, fast speed, and anything happens. Like all of a sudden, like I remember that Eggman's robot turned around, and I smashed right into him. I was like, what the hell? And all of a sudden, he comes up with his gunny. He's about to like shoot you or attack you, and all of a sudden, I started jumping all over the place. I had I, I had to jump, and then I had to. I spin dash right into him, and spin dash into the other one, and spin dash into the and so forth, so on and so forth. It was just like it was just crazy. It was just like madness or whatever that came with the speed. And it was just like in order to play a Sonic game, you have to have speed in your mind and just like whoa, you got to get that Sonic momentum in there, and you got to and it makes you feel like Sonic, and that's that's what's pretty awesome. I when I was that young, I fell in love with the game. And those were the three reasons why I fell in love with it. Then, what happens a little bit later? Well, after a few times playing it so much and loving it so much, then all of a sudden, a little bit later, my McDonald's got the machines away. I remembered I went into the play place, and I went to, I went over to the wall, and when I looked, there was only one. There was only one, and that one was, and all, the rest of them were gone. But the one was disconnected off the wall. I guess that they didn't get rid of it yet. So then I, I was stunned. I was, I was shocked, and I was very upset. I was like, "Why is McDonald's doing this? Like, what happened?" And I think, like, my mom tried it. My mom or my parents tried to keep on telling me that they said that they think it was probably because that, a, like, a lot of kids they cough, they sneeze, or whatever. So, so it's because like a lot of kids were getting sick. I don't know. That was that was my mom's reason. But I think maybe it was because like those machines were getting a little too old, and kids were probably like yanking them and all that stuff. I think that was like now that's probably what I think. But at the time, that was what my mom was. That's what my mom said. Maybe something happened. Like maybe like the core, like the controllers got pulled off or something like that. Because maybe I, because I think I do remember that there, there, there was a tear inside the from the machine and the controller and I think someone was trying to steal the controller so I remember that I was very upset that they got rid of it because I I never owned that Sonic game so I was very I never owned that Sonic game so I so I looked at the wall I was like yeah I stood there and I was very I was very sad but then you I saw the play pit place that actually going down the slides and the ball pit to actually kind of get my mind off of it but I after that time all I can think about kind of like the same thing with uh, Super Mario when they had Mar Super Mario Sunshine in there 
All I could think about was that Sonic game. How awesome that was. So I remembered like months and months and months go by and I, I, I still thought about it. And but I would still play my PlayStation 2 to try to get my mind off of it. Still didn't work. And Christmas comes around. So I think it was probably maybe like a year, or maybe like that year or something. I don't know. But um and when I so it was Christmas morning. I had two things that looked like DVD cases. They were both they were both like this. Like th this shape and this size, and they were all wrapped up in Christmas boxes or wrapping paper. And I opened the first one, and it was two PlayStation 2 games. I don't remember what the first one was because I went completely nuts over the second one. But yeah, I don't. I've been before I made this video. I I was trying to think what the first one was. I can't even remember, and th that's very sad. Because that's how much I love the second gift that I got. Then when I opened the second one, and it was, boom, Sonic Heroes. I was shocked. I was, that was probably maybe like the greatest day of my life when I was a child. When I was a child, and it was just like it was like like you could say it was a reunited story. Like I found I found love within this game from day one, and then all of a sudden. They, they take it away from me. So we were we were both split apart. I was alone and so was the game. And then a few, like a year or so after, we work our way to actually coming back as one again. And like I say, it was a very fun, it's a very dumb but funny reunited story. But, um, but that was my favorite game on the PlayStation 2. I loved it so much. And my PlayStation 2 broke a few years ago, so I couldn't play Sonic Heroes again. Then, of course, just recently, it's a reunited story because I got Sonic Heroes again for the GameCube. And now I've been playing it ever since. Now, the question is that everybody is probably going to be asking me, or is probably thinking, throughout this whole entire time that I've been playing Sonic Heroes my whole life, have I ever completed the game? Is that the question? No, I did not. To this very day, I have never completed Sonic Heroes. And the only reason why that it was, I was close on the PlayStation 2. And like I said, that broke. Right when I was halfway done with the game. And the reason why that was, was because that I would sit on the floor. I would sit on the floor and play and play the games on the floor. So my mom thought I was being like too uncomfortable or something like that. So she brought home from her work, she brought home this like office chair. It was black, it was leather, and it was nice and comfortable. And it was like one of those ones that had like um, armrests. And and I would sit there and I would play my games close to the TV. But I would go to my desk because I like to draw, but I had like things over there. And I would, I would write notes during the games. So I rolled over there. I would ro roll all the way over there, grab it, start writing on notes or whatever. And then I would roll right back. But because it was so close. And as when I was rolling over it, I would roll over the cords of my PlayStation 2. So I think the cords probably, like, gave out. Like, they were probably, like, struggling, and all of a sudden they were like, we give out. And, uh, since now, like I said, I recently just got the game back into my life again on the GameCube after the PlayStation 1. So now, I started thinking about it. Now when I'm doing this video, and now we're getting close to the end, now I'm thinking... I'm going to I'm going to actually try to complete it for the first time in my life. Fully complete it this time. Not getting halfway. So yeah, you guys, that is my memories of Sonic Heroes and it goes way back into my childhood. Guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.